Hi, welcome back to Mad Science. My name is Haley. I'm the children's specialist at the Tewksbury Public Library. Today, we are going to be experimenting with chromatography or the science of separating mixtures. So it was a technique developed by a Russian botanist named Mikhail Svet uh, to separate pigments that made up plant dyes. But for today's experiment, we're going to be using markers to discover the components that make up each color. All right, let's get started. For this experiment, you will need washable markers, coffee filters, and several cups of water. The first step is to take your coffee filters and color a circle with your colored markers. So now draw a circle here. Don't fill it in, just draw a nice thick circle there and repeat with all the other colors. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna fill each of your cups with a little bit of water and then fold your coffee filters so you can get them a little bit easier into the cup and dip them. Careful, don't let the water touch the color, just the edge of the filter. So you may need to draw your circles a little bit bigger so that the water doesn't touch the color directly. Just want it to touch the edge of the filter. And once you've done that, set a timer for 10 minutes and come back. All right, before we reveal the colors, if you haven't written your hypothesis yet, make sure to fill that out on your Mad Science Lab report. What do you think will happen? And don't cheat, no peeking. All right, once you've done that, we'll remove each of the coffee filters. So I'm gonna take these each out, then I'll flip the camera around to show you. Right. All right, I'll flip this camera around so you can see what happened to mine. So, around. All right, there you go. So that's my red one. It doesn't look like there were any color changes there. It's all red. I'll explain why that happened in a moment. This was originally black. Now it's a bunch of colors here. This was our green. Looks like there was a little bit of red in there, probably just an accident. This was orange and this was our purple. All right, let's discuss. So first things first, look over your hypothesis and determine whether or not you were correct. If you weren't correct, that's okay. If you were, nice job. And in the what I learned section, I want you to fill out why what happened happened. And if you don't know, stay tuned and I'll get into the science. All right, the science. So just like we were talking about Mikhail Svet, that Russian botanist, he used chromatography to separate out uh, the pigments that made up different plant dyes. So when he was using chromatography, he discovered that different color pigments have different weights, and so they are carried at different speeds and they end up in different places, which we can see with our coffee filters here. So you can use a substance like water, for example, in our coffee filters, and that little ring of color, and as the water moves through the coffee filter, the pigments get separated, and they end up in different places. So we can see which pigments were combined to make which marker color. So you'll notice with the primary colors, which we have here with the red, there aren't any change changes in the color here. It's just all red all the way through. That's because it's a primary color. 
So if you had blue or yellow, it would be exactly the same thing. But with other colors like green, for example, our green turned into, we've got yellow here and then blue. Ignore this, this is probably just a, another ink mark on the marker or something like that, so ignore that. Might have been on the coffee filter. But it separated out into yellow and blue, which combined make green. Pretty cool, uh huh? So then we've got purple, and this didn't work out perfectly. I might not have uh, drawn the circle big enough. It looks like the water got to it mostly because I'm not seeing any red in the purple. But I am seeing some blue here which is pretty cool. And then for our uh, orange color, same thing. It looks like it touched the water a little too much. I see a tiny bit of red. You probably can't see it though. And then some yellow here. And then our last one was black, which turned into this crazy array of colors. And that's because there are a lot of different colors that make up black pigment. Um, so pretty cool. Pretty cool collection of colors there. So that's your little experiment into chromatography. Have fun with it. Use a bunch of different markers. Um, you can try some Sharpies and see what happens, or you can try something other than a coffee filter, maybe a piece of paper and some water. Uh, just be careful to make sure that the water doesn't touch the pigment or you'll have a little bit of a mess like I did with the red. So keep experimenting, have fun, and uh, enjoy.